We've all heard the philosophical question about what came first, the chicken or the egg. But have you ever wondered about what wild animal was first domesticated to make the modern chicken? Just like the mallard led to most domestic duck breeds, wild turkeys were domesticated to become, well, turkeys, and ancient aurochs gave us our milk cows. The backyard chicken, Gallus gallus domesticus, does have a wild ancestor. Just take domesticus off of the name and there you go. You now have the scientific name of the red jungle fowl of South and Southeast Asia and the answer to our question. The red jungle fowl was the main bird that was used to develop all the chicken breeds we know and love today, but the gray, Sri Lankan, and green jungle fowl species also contributed to the gene pool. Wild chickens prefer to live in scrubland or at the biodiverse edges between forests and fields, particularly in places with plenty of cover where they can hide. These wild birds are omnivores and scavengers, constantly searching through the thick leaf litter of the forest floor to find bugs, grubs, fruit, leaves, and grasses, or even the stray bit of carrion in to fill their crops. They form groups and establish social ranking through a pecking order, with the dominant birds standing taller than the submissive ones. The male has gorgeous plumage and impressive waddles that he uses to advertise his strength and virility. Along with the visual display, he uses a foot-stomping mating dance to beguile the females. The female has the subdued coloration that you could expect from a wild bird that doesn't want to be visually discovered while sitting on her nest. To evade predators at night, when they aren't active, these wild fowl use their weak wings to flutter to perches high off the ground. The males crow loudly to establish dominance and territory. The chicks are born precocious, meaning they can walk and feed themselves, and they can run around the underbrush with their mother soon after hatching. Adult wild chickens are usually only one and a half to two pounds and usually live anywhere from 12 to 14 years. Now, once you know chickens, you'll realize that the behaviors of these wild birds are exactly the same as the activity of a backyard hen. Every domestic chicken, no matter how much it has been selectively bred, still retains the majority of these wild instincts. They want to scratch the ground and look for food. They want to perch at night. And those roosters, some of which still bear a very close resemblance to their wild counterpart, are still loudly crowing to declare their territory. And now that you're familiar with how wild chickens are designed, the needs and behaviors of the backyard hen will make a lot more sense.